I think a lot of it, the focus here is really user growth. I mean, if you saw that, you know, up uh, about 9%. And I think it just shows, you know, with all the headwinds out there on data privacy and, and even the Apple news, you know, advertisers continue to stick on the platform. And, you know, I think this is a company where if you look at Fang names, it's been a huge Fang comeback week. And Facebook's front and center. It's a big step forward for tech. With Facebook, you mentioned the advertising side of things. Those revenue figures start to bear out the fact that advertisers are sticking around. What is it that Facebook then needs to do in this quarter and going forward to make sure that that revenue growth still stays intact? Yeah, it's all about monetization. I mean, the focus right now for Facebook is monetization of the platform, you know, especially with, uh, with stories and you look at Instagram, which you know, continues to be one of the best acquisitions probably may, maybe ever made in tech. So, so right now it's a monetization story. And look, you have a lot of competitors competing for the share. So I think what investors want to see is that you continue to see growth in the right direction. But look, this is one where it's been a huge laggard, along with a name like Apple. You look at Fang names, just think about what's happening across tech. This really is starting to take a leadership role as Fang's maybe starting to get some mojo back. We've talked so much about this idea that Facebook is facing what could be near, medium, and long-term regulatory hurdles, things of that nature. Does that play into the thesis? Are the shares pricing in that where they are currently at right now, even with an 11% move to the upside pre-market? Yeah, I still think investors for regulatory, not just in Facebook, but for large tech, you know, I think that continues to be a little more background noise. I think where it's more front and center is GDPR. And I think that's just not on names like Facebook. That's for any enterprise name and Microsoft and a bunch of others that play in there because I think that's the worry. If you said the biggest risks in tech right now, it's China and it's regulation. But I think regulation relative to what we saw a year ago has definitely moved more to the background. And I think investors are kind of few and more front and GDPR, center. data protection is part of that. It's part of the name. We know that Facebook has come under fire just in the past couple of days with regard to some of the things that they've done with regard to tracking users, albeit with their consent and payment being transferred. It's something that Sheryl Sandberg, the COO at Facebook, addressed just yesterday. Let's take a listen to what she said. This is a Facebook research app. It's very clear to the people who participate in. It's completely opt-in. There is a rigorous consent flow and people are compensated. It's a market research program. Now, that said, we know we have work to do to make sure people's data is protected. It's your information. You put it on Facebook, you need to know what's happening. In this case, the people that chose to participate in this program did, but we definitely have work to do and we've done it. So Dan, should investors consider what happened with Facebook and this data tracking app? Is it a big deal? I guess is the best way to put it. Well, yeah, I mean, you saw Apple come out, you know, very specifically going after Facebook. And I think right now there's a line in the sand. I mean, when you look in the valley, and I tell you, you have Facebook on this side and you have Apple on the other. And I think what's happening right now is it's highly sensitive in terms of these types of tracking capabilities. And I think that this is going to be a big focus for, for tech and for consumers. And that's why right now there's really a battle royale going on between a, a Apple and a Facebook, two juggernauts which feel like that's going to continue to get heated.